Okay, so now that we have introduced the concept of matrices, I think it is time to start doing some examples of matrix operations. So let's have that color is a little bit too dark. Let's change it to better yellow. So that's A. Let's have the following matrices. Let's have 1, 0, minus 1, 2. That's matrix A. And let's have matrix B equal to 2, minus 1, 0, 3. Now, how do we denote the dimensions of these matrices? Well, we use something called the M by A m times n notation so basically m number of rows and n number of columns so basically we count the number of rows first this has two rows so that's two and it has two columns so that's two by two matrix and the same with this one so it has the same dimensions so the operation of addition of subtraction is possible if a and b have the same dimensions have the same dimensions so in this case we have two two by two matrices so we can perform this operation so let's start with a plus b that's going to be equal to a two by two matrix so the resultant of that operation is going to be a matrix of the same dimensions and what we're going to do is we're going to add each of the components if each of the respective components together so that's one plus two that's going to be three zero plus minus one that's going to be minus one then minus one plus zero that's minus one and two by uh, two plus three that's going to be five so that's our result now a minus b is going to be one minus two that's going to be minus one then zero minus minus one so that's going to be plus one minus one plus zero that's minus one again and two minus three that's minus one so those are the results that we get from those matrices so that's a very straightforward operation now the tricky thing the tricky part becomes uh, matrix multiplication so we can have matrix multiplication and in terms of arithmetic operations this is basically what we can have there's no such thing as matrix division that do just doesn't exist there, there are other operations that we will explore in a few videos later on but for now let's focus on these three operations so matrix multiplication is possible only so let's have let's have a matrix that is a uh, I'm just gonna call it m1 so m a times n a and then m b times n b so these are the dimensions of matrix a and these are the dimensions of matrix b so matrix multiplication is only possible if this and that are the same so if n a is equal to m b then we can perform the operation so that means that if we have a matrix that has three columns so if a has three columns and then b has three rows then the matrix multiplication is possible otherwise it is not possible so the operation does not exist for that ma uh, for that pair of matrices and then we can have the number of the number of rows in a times the number of columns in b is going to be the dimensions of our new matrix so those are the dimensions of the matrix that results from this operation now one thing that is important to note is that this multipli uh, multiplication operation does not is not commutative so a times b is not the same as b times a and we can show that by saying that we already discussed about these two being equal, but what if these two are not equal? Well, this multiplication cannot happen. And remember that the order of multiplication is going to be different for um, however we perform the multiplication. So the order actually matters when it comes to matrix multiplication. So now that we have that, let's see if we can multiply these two matrices together, A and B. Well, we have two and two, so the number of columns in A is equal to the number of columns in B. So yes, we can multiply them, and the resultant matrix is going to have the dimensions two by two. So it's two rows from A and two columns from B, so that's the resultant dimensions of the matrix. And now we can proceed to perform the operation. So the matrix multiplication is a little bit trickier, and I'm going to try to illustrate it as well as I can. So a b is going to be as follows so it's going to be a two by two matrix right so it's going to have four elements 
All right, so how we how do we perform matrix multiplication? Well, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the first row and then we're going to multiply by the first column in B. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first element of this row times the first element of this column and that's going to be one of the values. So one times two, that's two. That's two. And we're going to add to that the product of the second element times the second element. So it's, you can consider this as being a one-to-one. -one. You first element with first element, second element with second element. And we're going to add that to that element. So zero times zero, that's zero. So that means that we add zero to this. Now, this whole thing is the first element of this matrix. So now to get the second element here, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this whole row by the second column. So we're going to multiply it by the second column and we're going to perform the same operation as before. So we're going to have one times minus one. So we're going to have one times minus one. That's minus one. And then we're going to add to that the product of this. So zero times three, that's zero. So that's just going to be zero again. So that's going to be the second element in the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to do the following. We're going to grab the second row from matrix A. Second row from matrix A, and we're gonna perform the same operation. So we're gonna multiply each of these elements by this column. That's gonna give us the element on this side. And then each of these elements is going to give us the product on that side. So let's start with this side. We have minus one times two, that's minus two, plus the product of this times that. So two times zero, that's zero. And then for the second element in that second row, we're going to have minus one times minus one, that's plus one, plus two times three, that's six. So we have one plus six, that's going to be seven. And in the end, what you're going to get is the following result. So you're gonna have two, minus one, minus two, and seven. And that's the product of your two matrices. So that just comes to show what you get when you perform this kind of operation. So this just comes to illustrate what happens when you perform this operation. And this is quite important because this will help us define other matrix operations that we'll discuss in, in the next video. But for now, what we need to take into account is that this is only possible if those dimensions that I just showed you match. So if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, then that means our multiplication is possible. Now, they don't have to have the same dimensions. So for example, we could have, we could have a equals to 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 0. So this is a 2 by 3 matrix. So 2 rows, 3 columns. And let's have another matrix, B equals to something like 1, 0, minus 1, 3, 2, 1. And then we're going to have 0, 3, 1. Now this is a 3 by 3 matrix. And is it possible to add them together? No, they don't have the same dimensions. So A plus B or A minus B is not possible. Can we multiply them though? Well, let's check if our condition is met. We have three columns on A, so A, B is our multiplication. We have these um, three columns here and we have three rows here. So yes, because these numbers are equal, then A times B is possible in this case. And the resultant of that operation is going to be a matrix of dimensions two by three. So a two by three matrix, so a, a matrix of this dimension is what go what's going to result from this. Now, how about B times A? Well, let's have B times A. In that case, we're going to have three by three. So that's our matrix B. And our matrix A is two by three. Now, the number of columns here is not equal to the number of columns here. So no, this multiplication is not possible. So that just comes to show that uh, undefined. That just comes to show that the mat up, um, order of multiplication of matrices actually matters. And this is a really important concept that we need to understand. And essentially, the way you would go about performing this multiplication is the same. You would have you would grab the first row and then you would grab each column individually. So 
basically the first element in that new 2 by 3 matrix is going to be 1 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times minus 1 that's going to become the first element then for the second element in that first row you're going to have 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 and then for the third element you're going to have 1 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 plus 3 times 0 that's going to and then you do the same, you're going to have this row and then you're going to perform the same operation again to get the uh, second row of that resultant matrix. And hopefully this just illustrates how this whole process works and how these basic operations with matrices work. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to perform these operations using um, computer software. So obviously you can imagine that if you, you can have matrices that are something like 100 elements, so 100 by 100 matrix. matrix. Obviously, doing that by hand is going to take you forever. So, luckily, there are computer programs that allow you to do this in one line of code, and it's really useful. So, that's what we will discuss in the next video. And after that, we will talk about some more operations that involve matrices.